Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Spartan Crew Gaming, and today we're talking about Middle Earth, a shadow of war. Once again, let's jump into it. So in this trailer that we got from CDC Comic Con, which I'm going to let play uh, here in just a moment so you guys will not be delayed, and I'll give the information afterwards. Nonetheless, we get to meet Shelob. Uh, spoiler warning, you're going to see some story spoilers in this trailer. Um, that's kind of self-evident since it is a story trailer, I guess. But nonetheless, spoilers ahead. Enjoy the trailer, and we'll talk about it afterwards. Come, Talia. See through my eyes. She is not ally. My gaze is fixed upon the fate of Middle Earth. Look to Minas Ethel. The spider showed us the truth. Gondor's last fortress in Mordor cannot fall. Minas Ethel will go the way of all flesh. How much of your soul was lost in memory? There's truth in your vision. Call me another. Be careful what you ask for. With prophecy comes torment. Get down! The great deceiver will pay for his betrayal. Her sight may be what saves us all. Turn what you have stolen from me. And I will bring Sauron to you. Why would I do that, Ringmaker? You and Sauron are one. So the trailer was quite amazing and very enjoyable, very cool. Uh, we saw a lot of cool stuff. So first off, we see a bunch of foreshadowing to what Talion may become in the future. So, um, you know, he says, give me more prophecy, and we see him get red eyes and all that corruption-looking stuff. So, you know, there's a, there's risk that Talion might become evil, which I thought. But also, we see some dissension between Calibrimbor and Talion, which I also thought would happen. They seem to be very upset at each other, um, a little more, you know, like, hey, you know, we shouldn't be doing this. Oh, we should be doing that. You know, Talion really seems to want to help man. Like, Calibrimbor is more like, hey, let's stop Sauron at all costs. Who cares about what man does? So, nonetheless, very cool to see that. Very, I don't know, it's just awesome. But Shelob is now confirmed, of course. Uh, it was either between Uluga'a and Shelob who the lady was. Um, she can transform into a fair form. There's this really cool shot in the trailer, which I'm going to put up, where, like, she's, like, in a, it's a CGI cutscene, but, like, she's crawling. She has, like, eight eyes, but she's in human form. That's really, like, creepy and cool. Um, but basically, very cool to see this character. I love what they're doing with the story, even though it is not lore you know, um, not lore, it's not lore-friendly at all, but it's really cool to see them expanding. But also, we see a new type of dragon, a dragon that is breathing bell fire, uh, that one of the Nazgul is riding. And it's just very cool to see these story elements. Shelob is a person, she has the ring, um, lots of cool things. A kind of a spoily trailer, for sure, and, uh, you know, she shows him the future. Now, the future is always, you know, subject to change. That's generally how it is in movies, in, and sometimes in games. Maybe not, though, because, you know, if this is the last game in the series, Talion does have to disappear unless they make a third game. Uh, and if they do, it's probably going to be with a new character. At least I hope so, or I think it would be. But nonetheless, if this is going to be the game that ends Talion's story, um, you know, he, he needs to die soon because he's not in Lord of the Rings. And they're, they, you know, they're, they're in a time wedge where, you know, Talion needs to die some sometime soon. But nonetheless, um, him turning evil, I think, is a likelihood, but maybe not as well. It depends where they want to go with the franchise. But nonetheless, it was a very cool trailer. Nothing too much on the news front, but just cool to see that Shelob is confirmed for the game. She's a very cool character. She can show people uh, the future, kind of like Gladriel could. Uh, so it's kind of like a flip side of that. I'm very interested to see how all these characters work. The animation and the graphics are just looking better and better in each trailer. Like, just looking at the graphics in this trailer, I was amazed. I'm like, whoa, it is looking so much better. Italian skin texture, his beard. Everything is just looking great. Um, you can really tell they're polishing out the game, and I'm glad they delayed it. Um, an article went up on one website saying it was going to be released early. That is completely uh, bogus. 
uh, the game is of course still coming out October 10th and I think it really needs it I think it's gonna look better and better every day because this game looks beautiful and its story looks amazing this game is going to be great guys not only just because it's gonna looks like it has an awesome story but it has an awesome nemesis system and the graphics are looking good too which I like you know I like my games to look nice but still story and gameplay are the main thing and the gameplay and story in this game look pretty dang awesome but basically that is all we got i'm sure other channels will be really cool breakdowns but sauron and calabrimbor kind of you know two flip sides of the same coin and shelob can take fair form and there seems to be a history between sauron and shelob all these cool things and uh you know italian and good old calabrimbor are having some you know some rivalry because you know when you're sharing one body you know kind of gets crowded and they're like hey let's do this no let's not do that you know so all that fun stuff very cool to see them explore the story hope the story is really long and enjoyable because yeah it just looks amazing and in the gameplay trailers we see he has the ring so i don't know in those gameplay walkthroughs we've been seeing is that after he uh he he gets the ring back from shelob or before i don't know so um nonetheless very cool trailer thank you guys for watching kind of rambled on a little bit but very cool and i very much enjoyed this story trailer just it has me more hyped for the game and i'm just excited guys this game is looking amazing and i cannot wait to play it for you and i cannot wait to play it for me i just can't wait for this game nonetheless guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys are having a blessed week that you're just feeling feeling good and you know uplifted so thank you guys i will see you guys in the next episode remember to leave a like on the video and yeah god bless see you guys later